You've probably already heard that F5 does DNS, but did you know that F5 recently remade DNS within its distributed cloud service? F5 distributed cloud DNS now does primary and secondary DNS, and built in natively is DDoS protection and security. What's new with F5's distributed cloud DNS is that the service is global and it rides on IP Anycast. That means that when you do a lookup, your lookup will be automatically directed to the local closest most regional edge to be resolved, resulting in the least amount of delay in getting an answer to the name that you're looking up. What's new about it is it uses F5's global network to provide any cast level of service. That results in high availability, and it provides additional layers of built-in security right into the product, including DDoS protection, automatically doing supporting DNSSEC, and TSIG for secure domain zone transfers. To support automation, there is a native interface so that if you want to control the DNS from another point of origin, you're able to use the native API within F5 Distributed Cloud to update and modify records as needed. And it should go without saying, but the Distributed Cloud DNS automatically scales so that as you have additional or more DNS requests per second, the service behind it automatically scales to your business's needs. When you log into Distributed Cloud Console, navigate to DNS Management. And within Domain Management, go down to DNS Management for the zones. Here you can add a zone. And as my first use case, I'll show how to add a primary DNS zone. Enter the zone name, select primary. And when you go to configure some of the parameters, we allow you to adjust anything within the SOA that you see fit, whether that's to have the zone expire more rapidly or to check in uh, as needed so that downlink secondary servers can either increase the request frequency or not. Distributed Cloud DNS as a primary name server supports adding all common resource record types. In this case, we're adding an A record with a single IP address of two different locations. And then finally, we're adding some additional records for the zone itself. In this case, I'm creating a mail record to say mail should go to a specific server. Now, there's a little bit difference between a record and a record set group. So under a group, you can add multiple record types belonging to a single name. It just makes it easier for you to manage the records that belong to a certain app. With the domain name completed, we can now use dig to look up our resource and you can see that resolution for the mail server, as well as the two IP addresses that we just added for primary DNS. Now let's take a look at our secondary DNS. Here I show you going to a public primary server. This would be a primary server that's available on the internet, but it does not have to be. All that's needed to support secondary DNS is to provide your TSIG keys, that's the pre-shared key that is needed to transfer your zone securely from your primary name server. However, if you don't have that set up, it's completely optional and not required for secondary service. And there you have it. The configuration is quite simple. And what's really unique about this is not only can you make those changes to your service directly using the F5 Distributed Cloud Console, but you can also do that using the API so that you no longer have to go into the console manually to make any changes. And in fact, you could orchestrate this using our brand new Terraform module on GitHub. For more information, visit us at f5.com products.